So, you know, crazy world. Scar H this time. Change my perks. X bow. I don't even know how to use the fucking thing, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Actually, I like the Scar H in this game, but you kind of gotta um pick your battles with this fucking weapon because you get fuck. It has like a, that um that steady fire rate like the Scar L. But um, it's only got 20 rounds. Got to pick your battles and make sure you got the guy lined up before you um go in on him. You might want to burst fire. That's usually what I do with this weapon. But this ain't tools of the motherfucking trade. This is crazy world. So what's what the fuck is going on? Let's see. Um. Oh, one 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 thing real quick. You may have to excuse my um play in this game because. I've been playing other games on other systems, and my controller skills are kind of loose right now because the um, sensitivity feels really fucking high on PlayStation. Like, I think I keep it pretty high for this game, so it feels kind of loose. Oh, shit. Bitch, get away from me. Ah. Yeah. I'm not as... I'm not going to be as quick with the aim <laughs> as I normally am. I'm be kind of fucked up, but... It's okay. It's okay. I'll get back into it in no time. But anyway, what's on the agenda? So, I've been seeing this fucking Cassie Meek Mill beef, and I've been seeing it for like a little while. It's alright. It ain't nothing special. But, the reason I want to talk about it is because it reminds me of the Jay-Z and Nas beef. Not, not that, like, you know, motherfuckers is really on the level of Nas. Like, not really. Ether is a motherfucking amazing time on a classic. How the fuck did I die to that dude? Um, shotgun, that's how I died. <laughs> Ether is a motherfucking time on a classic, and don't you forget it, but this shit reminds me of like how Jay Z was shitting on Nas. Like, Jay Z was killing Nas. Like, he was just killing him on this. Like, the whole rock was just getting cake. All that shit. Damn, I got the shit sniped out of me. Oh, I forgot they like to snipe up on that rock in this game and hide on this map. I mean. But Jay Z and it was just shitting on Nas. They was getting money, doing shows everywhere. The way they was shitting on Nas kind of made you forget who the fuck Nas was. And that was pretty much the worst thing that anybody could have done was count Nas out because that it just it just was what the fuck am I saying? It was just a bad look because Ether came out. And that was the end of that. Like, that was the end of all those problems, because, like I said, Ether was a time on a classic. That shit was amazing, and he just straight handled those idiots. Fuck over here for sniping me, bitch. Fuck is wrong with you? You need the fucking expo. So, anyway. Um, this shit reminds me of, um, the shit with Jay-Z and Nas and Ethan. Because, you know, everybody was counting Nas out. And nobody expected Nas to do nothing. Well, Meek Mill put out a real hard track. It's called Reaper. And it was hard as fuck. Like, he was really, he was really grilling them. He went hard on it and he did as expected. And, like, he was spitting, he, he had some good lines. He had the line where he said, you know, I'm on the phone with Tip talking how we gonna beast these niggas. All I know is bang, bang, like the Chief Keith nigga. That was a hard line. He really went in on it. You know what I'm saying? He did the damn thing as expected. But then, Raid came out. And, you know, we all know who's who's better. Like, we all know Cassidy's a much better rapper. And yeah, Meek Mill's doing his thing, but Cassidy's just a much better rapper. He, you know, he's been in the game since he was 16. Me, he has a big jump on Meek Mill as far as experience goes. And it was kind of an unfair fight, honestly. Shit. For him to be going, for him to be, like, challenging Cassidy like that, because we know who's the best. Like, you know, we already know, like, what's going to happen, but he was, you know, motherfuckers was counting Cassidy out. Motherfuckers like, oh, Cassidy ain't going to do shit, blah, blah, blah. I ain't heard nothing from him in a minute. And then me got manhandled. Because Rage straight up manhandled that bullshit. And I, I ain't even stunting, like, 
I don't want to sound like a fanboy now, but Ray manhandled that shit. Like, he, he up there, he had the line where he, he was talking about, um, I seen a video of Tupac back, saw your boss, and said Tupac ain't fat, had Philly on lock before Pac got clapped, and that, that shit was just a rap. Like, that shit was just, I was like, wow, this shit is just such a waste of time. Me, me can't fuck it with Cass. These motherfuckers are all hiding on this tower. And the shit was hilarious, to say the least. The shit was fucking hilarious. Like, that motherfucker, like, I like Meek Mill a lot. I do. I like Meek Mill. I fuck with Meek Mill. But he ain't fucking with Cass on everything. That's just somebody he ain't fucking with. And that Ray shit just crushed it. And that, that was just it. Like, it was a motherfucking rap. That Ray shit really fucking crushed it. And I was thoroughly impressed and entertained and all that shit. Oh, oh, motherfucking hiding ass snipers. But that shit, like, it, it really reminded me of Ethan. Like, it's not as, it wasn't as good as, you know, the Ethan shit and the shit with Jay-Z and everything. But, but, nonetheless, the way, like, motherfucker put it down, he really did the damn thing. Like, he really put it down, and I had to shoot that sniper real quick. I had to shut the fuck up. Be on the lookout. I spotted a hostile sniper. And that shit just went hard as fuck. And I can't, I can't even fucking complain. All right, I got eyes on an enemy sniper. And fuck, is there anybody else here? Okay, no. Good. So. Like I was saying, Meek, I mean, um, Cass really killed that shit. Like, Meek is real dope. Like, Meek is real hot. And you got a lot of dudes who was rooting for Meek. But, in the rap de fuck, in the rap department, Cass had that shit sewn up. And, he really just shitted on that nigga. Like, he really shitted on that motherfucker. And it just reminded me of the Ethan shit so much. Like, when, when The Rock was shitting on, um, Nas, you was thinking, like, Man, this nigga, these motherfuckers rapping Nas up. Nas used to be one of the greatest. But then Ether came out and you just realized, like, the era of your motherfucking ways. So when that dude said, put it together, I rock hoes, y'all rock fellas. That shit was over. I don't know what broke the rock up. I don't know. But if I were to guess, I would say Ether broke the fucking rock up. Because that shit, like I said, was a time on a classic. That bitch was outstanding. I just saw a person here. Where'd he go? Am I tripping? I thought so. But that shit was fucking amazing. Like, and that's what this shit, this shit just reminds me of it. Like, it's not as good, but that eat like, fuck. That shit just reminds me of that Ether shit and like, how terrible that was for those motherfuckers. Like, they got mangled in that shit. Like, fuck, like, what the f that was a fast ass death. Like the way the way um Jay Z just lit I mean Nas just laid the motherfuckers out, it was terrible. It was hard to watch. That shit was a snuff film. And this shit reminds me of it. So I've been watching oh and it's another shit I've been watching. I seen on Vlad TV. So I guess it's some dude running with Meek Mill called AR Ab, but He's apparently also friends with Cassidy somehow. Bitch, I ain't chasing you. Fuck all that shit. I ain't gonna chase you around. But, like, I guess he's friends with Cassidy somehow. Or frenemies. He's a shitty friend, if you ask me. And I'm watching this motherfucker, like, and the dude is just straight dick riding Meek Mill. Like, he just. He really just looking for a payday. Where the other motherfucker go? How the fuck did that work? Um, I killed that guy, but the game gave him the kill. I don't know. But really, dude, like, the dude AR just, like, dick riding the shit out of me. Like, I saw this video of this dude just dry snitching on camera. Just, I don't even know you can call it dry snitching. 
Because the dude's like up there talking about real crimes and shit. Oh, this motherfucker ran away, I see him. So, and, and like dudes just up there, like, is this what, what motherfuckers are resorting to for money? Like, will motherfuckers really do anything for a dollar? Like, because dude's up there talking about he cool with Cassidy. Then he shitting on Cassidy. Then he's talking about he want to do this with Meek and he's cool with Meek. You know him from the street and all this other Fugazi ass shit. But meanwhile, it's just snitching at his motherfucking finest. I mean, pretty much. Ah, uh, I knew that shit. Should have known they hiding that fucking tower. It's pretty much just ratting at his motherfucking finest. And... I don't know, it's entertaining as shit. Oh, fuck. This is not close enough to the building to stop those motherfuckers. But it's entertaining as fuck to watch the shit. But, like, I've never been a fan of, of ratting like that. Like, I just don't understand why people do it, what it's all about, why you need to snitch on everybody like that. Dude, dude is up there dick riding hard as shit for a dollar. I mean, and, you know, I want to like, like the dude's music, but you, you kind of can't. When a motherfucker is dick riding this hard and talking like crazy shit about people he's supposed to be cool with and saying all types of just fucked up shit about people, it's hard to like the motherfucker. It's hard to say, man, I want to hear more of this guy's music because you can't say that. He got too many people's dicks in his mouth. Like, you, you know, you can't fucking like the dude. Motherfucker cock riding too hard. And I don't know, I guess, I don't know, is that what the world's come to? Everybody's dick riding just to try to get on. Just whatever they could do to get by. Like, I don't I don't get it. I've never, like, to me, like, I just never been into that shit. I never seen a reason to do that for money. You know what I'm saying? Compromising your loyalties and your integrity and just not being about shit. That's just some bullshit in my opinion. But I don't know, that's what motherfuckers do now. They motherfuckers will hop on anybody's dick just for a dollar. Motherfuckers are for sale. Don't get it twisted, motherfuckers are for sale. There's no motherfucking. When it comes to money, it's like it's like YouTube's like that. When it comes to money, motherfuckers will do anything. Like they're no holds barred. Like motherfuckers will suck their suck their dad's dick for a dollar. Like in YouTube, like same thing with this rap shit. Like I, I see motherfuckers rap shit. Like they just do anything, and I'm like, what happened? Are are men not men anymore? Did motherfuckers fall off that bad that they need to do this shit? We try to drop the health pack to um, outlast me. Sorry. Oh, wait. Well, maybe there's someone else. I don't know. But, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I can't condone that shit. Like, as a man, I, I can't condone that type of fucking fugazi ass lying and, and ratting on camera on the dude you're supposed to be cool with. Just to make, just to make a buck. Like, you understand? Like, what the fuck is that about? But, I got heard just motherfuckers do. But, I don't know, that's just some fuck-ass shit, and it's a losing battle, like, Meek Mill is gonna win the battle overall, because he's very popular right now, and he's getting money, but Cassie's gonna win it as far as rap goes, because he's just a better rapper, I mean, and his, his, the song he came out with was just better. I mean, that's just, that's just how it's gonna happen. But it should, like, like I said, it reminds me to eat the shit, because motherfuckers counted Nas out, like, oh... Jay-Z about to shit on this nigga. Jay-Z getting all this cake. And it didn't happen that motherfucking way. Nas just crashed a motherfucking party. I mean, and this shit reminds me of the fucking Eater shit so much. Like, it made me go back and listen to it. Like, he put that shit down. You never heard either. Like, you, you killing yourself with it. Yo. Anyway. Oh, shit. I'm fucked up. Ah! They got me. Anyway, fuck that topic. Fuck that topic. Dick riding ass motherfuckers and a battle that's pretty much already foretold. Um. Fuck. So, I'm si I see this shit on TV. Um. Justin Bieber. Like, I don't normally talk about Justin Bieber or give a fuck about Justin Bieber. Nothing personal against motherfucker. But. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really listen to Justin Bieber or follow him or none of that other weird shit that all that these other weird people do. Like, there's some crazy motherfuckers out there that are, like, following Justin Bieber and trying to get all in the motherfucker life. I mean, it's the way I see actors and, and, and musicians, all that shit, I don't try to get involved in their life. I listen to the music and I keep it moving. As long as, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about what Brad Pitt's real life is like. 
long as his movies are good, that motherfucker could be a serial killer. Okay? Make a good movie. Make 7-2. Call it 8. I don't know. I don't Whatever. You know, just... You know what I'm saying? As long as the music is good, I don't give a fuck about your personal life. Like, really, like, seriously, you could be anything you want. You could wear dresses. You could be gay. You could punch babies. I don't give a fuck about your personal life. I'm never gonna give a fuck about a famous person's personal life, but I seen this shit with with Justin Bieber. This this motherfucker's wilding out. So Justin Bieber, like, there's some pictures of this motherfucker. This shit is hilarious. I don't know what to talk about it. There's pictures of this motherfucker out, I guess, smoking blunts. Motherfuckers found out he's he um I guess he cheated on the Selena bitch, cause they seem to think that their relationship is so important. I don't know why. It doesn't involve anybody but them. And so he's been cheating on the um Selena bitch. They heard he smashed some black bitches or whatever, and like, everybody's up in arms about it. I'm like, what, he fucked the Mexican chick? Now he's fucking some black chick? Wow. <laughs> Motherfucker's famous. Let him fuck who he wants. So then there's pictures of the motherfuckers smoking blunts and shit. This motherfucker's out here, like, this motherfucker's smoking blunts, running through holes, um, cheating on his girlfriend. <laughs> and then this motherfucker catches a body. <laughs> Then this motherfucker kills somebody. He kills a paparazzi by mistake. Like, him and Lil Twist running fucking paparazzi over. Which, I don't give a fuck about seeing a paparazzi get run over. That shit is hilarious when, when paparazzi get run over. Like, you stupid bitch. You shouldn't have been doing that dumb shit. And, <laughs> so this motherfucker catches a body. He's smoking blunts. He's running through mad holes and shit. Cheating on his bitch. All types of shit. Like, this motherfucker Bieber is going ham. This he my new favorite rapper. <laughs> this, this, oh, and he's and this, and this motherfucker is rapping like all the time. Bieber has freestyles with like Funkmaster Flex and shit. What's really good? Like, <laughs> what's Bieber is 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 thugged out right now. Justin Bieber is is really going ham on motherfuckers right now. Like he is really going in, and this shit is is funny as fuck to watch. Because the dude Bieber is wilding on motherfuckers. And I fucking love it. I love it because he was so boring with that baby baby shit. And all that cute I love you crap. This shit is wonderful. It's good to see that motherfuckers are real people. You feel me? Because like, real people have problems. Real people catch bodies and shit. Oh shit. Did I get the knife? I guess not. And it, like, this shit is hilarious, son, because Justin Bieber's out here wilding, man. Why do these motherfuckers on my team have the same person? I, I want to choke these bitches. But, um, that, that shit is just crazy. Like, who would have guessed Justin Bieber would be smoking blunts, running through holes, and catching bodies? <laughs> this, this motherfucker is more thorough than some of the rappers. This motherfucker has more street cred than Meek Mill right now. All right? Not that street cred is really worth anything. I mean, especially since this motherfucker's from Canada. Not like he needs it. You know how hard shit is in Canada with all the free medical and shit. But, um, that shit is just funny as fuck. Like, Justin Bieber catches a fucking body? And fucking, like, Justin Bieber murks some motherfucker. And, and it's smoking blood. I, I'm lost. I'm baffled. I've had a loss of words for this shit. All right, so this shit, is, this shit is fucking killing me. This shit is hilarious. Fuck, Justin Bieber. I, I like this motherfucker now. Like, I'm, whatever he comes out with next, I'm a cop it. I'm fucking with Justin Bieber now because, I don't know, I see a different side of him. It shows, like, get off of this dude's dick. He's a normal motherfucker. Let him live his life. If you get in front of his car, he's going to run you over. Stop playing with him from me because he's from Canada. I hope he comes out with a remix of something with Chief Keith. Fuck it. I'm hoping to see that come out real soon. Justin Bieber, Chief Keef, Baby I Don't Like Remix. Where's that other dude? Did he leave? Oh shit, motherfucker seen me. Ah, they caught me. But I don't know, this shit is, this shit is motherfucking wonderful. And enough about Justin Bieber, enough about Justin Bieber. But that motherfucker's wilding out. That motherfucker's wilding out, and I fucking love it. But normally, I don't fuck with Justin Bieber. But I do now. I do now. 
Cause that motherfucker is going ham and shit. And um, I don't know. I don't know if motherfuckers notice about me. Like, I only like show myself when I do like PSAs, so you don't like see me all the time. And even then, I only show like my face and my upper torso. So, like, I'm not like a fitness guru or like a fitness nut or nothing, but I keep myself in shape because I think it's important. And I'm kind of conceited and I like to look a certain way. Don't tell nobody. But, um, I've been watching, like, just society as a whole and been watching, I'm like, I don't understand what's, what the fuck is cool about being a fat ass. I fail to see what's awesome about being a fat piece of shit. Oh, shit. I, I fucked up my buttons right there and somebody saved my ass. Woo, thank you. But um, I fail to see what's so cool about being a fat piece of shit. What's so awesome about about being just incredibly out of shape. I'm not getting it. You know, I'm missing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 missing this one right here. Like this 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 trend has has blown by me somehow and I'm not getting it. So I missed the train on that one, like, cause I don't understand what the fuck is cool about being a fat piece of shit. Like everywhere I go, everybody's talking about like, everybody just like fuck their like personal health and fitness and for me you know i do like to look a certain way but i kind of equate fitness and taking care of yourself to hygiene like like would you just let your teeth rot or just get be, get yellow or you know all types of like dental hygiene mishaps and all that shit would you let that shit happen of course not so why the fuck would you you know just let yourself get to be 400 pounds or some shit and pretend like the shit's cool, like, everybody pretends like it's fucking awesome, and you're supposed to be this fucking weight, like, you are not supposed to be 300, 400 pounds, maybe 300, maybe you get to 300 if you're, like, tall, and you're a big athletic football playing ass motherfucker, yeah, maybe you can be an acceptable 300, but bitch, you are not supposed to be 400 fucking pounds, that's just what it is, I'm, I'm sorry if I burst anybody's 400 pound fat piece of shit bubble, but... Shit is not supposed to be like that. It, it's just, I mean, it's the motherfucking truth, bitch. You're not supposed to fucking be like that. Oh, shit, get on target. Expo, pull out the fucking Expo. Don't fuck it up. Ah, I missed him. Fuck. Next time, Gadget, next time. But, like, I don't, I don't understand why everybody's so cool with being a fat piece of shit. I don't understand why everybody's so cool with being incredibly unhealthy. Like, listen, I know food's good. That's why I have a fucking cheat day in my workout routine. I go eat a bunch of dumb shit. But, bitch, control yourself. Oh, shit. Mm, fuck you. Fuck you, pussy. Fuck you. Corny ass bitch, stop hiding. Mm, mm. Teabag time. Teabag time, motherfucker. Uh, but anyway. 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 Um, I don't get what's so cool about that shit. About just being gigantic and fucking sloppy and... You know, and I do have, like, a nice building muscle and shit, but that, I put in work for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I deserve it, bitch. And I just don't understand what's so cool about these motherfuckers acting like they deserve some sort of praise or charity for being a fat piece of shit. Like, bitch, you don't have cancer, and I hope your fatness kills you. Real, real shit. I hope it kills you. So motherfuckers can understand, like, if you get to be 400 pounds, man, bury that motherfucker in the refrigerator box or set him on fire. Fuck him. Fuck him. Because the bitch don't want to live. Like, that motherfucker does not want to survive. He has let himself go just beyond any type of measure or common sense. You know you're not supposed to be that fat. Like, scientists and medical motherfuckers shouldn't have to tell you about cholesterol and shit for you to understand, hey, I shouldn't be this fucking fat. Get over here, bitch. All right, like, I don't understand what's so cool about that shit. Like, I always, I've always just, I haven't been, like, like super fit like I am now like all the time but I've always been conscious of my fitness and tried to like be the best me possible like I said like taking care of your motherfucking fitness looking out for your health is the same thing as hygiene it's the same thing as being dirty I'm sorry and as, as a matter of fact if I meet a bitch that's fat even if she's pretty I automatically count her as ugly I do I do that shit I know it's fucked up fuck you don't tell me how to live my life but I ought oh he tried to pull out the expo on me he tried Good luck, bitch. <laughs> oh, he, hit, he got hit with the expo trying to pull the shit out on me for some revenge. Eat a dick. Eat a dick, motherfucker. Oh, so, but... 
I automatically count bitches as ugly for that shit. Because, bitch, you don't care about yourself. Alright? You have just forgot about personal, you know, respect and pride. Alright? If you allowed yourself to become that, you don't love yourself anymore. Fuck. And I know people are gonna say I'm wrong. Fuck you. People who let themselves go like that don't love themselves anymore. They're suicidal. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. That's a terrible... Fuck it. Fuck it. Somebody's gotta say it. Scar H for a crazy world, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Somebody had to say that shit. Expo! Fuck you! <laughs> Somebody had to say that shit. Alright, alright. I know I'm fucked up. I know I'm fucked up. But fuck it. I mean, I look out for myself, and you should look out for yourself too. There's no reason to be that fucking fat and sloppy and disgusting. Look out for yourself, bitch. The fuck is wrong with you? Didn't didn't your mom teach you any home training? Huh? Did your family not love you? Maybe they. <laughs> all right, all right, this time, this time, this top is fucked up. <laughs> this top is a layer, but listen, like, hold up, hold up. I know I don't know what to do. Let me text this bitch back. This is this is a bitch trying to fuck me tonight, and um, I need to text this whole back. So like, I'm a. I'm gonna do this shit. I'm gonna text this bitch real quick. All right, all right. Back on topic. Back on topic. Back on topic. I had to text this bitch back real quick. I don't normally do this, but I need to smash this hoe. I just met her yesterday, and, and it's time to. I hate waiting on pussy. I just like to smash holes off top, and then then get to know you. I'll get to know you after I've seen whether or not you're worth getting to know, and by that I mean fucking you to see if you're worth getting to know, bitch. Anyways, so another thing. What else is what else is pop? Um, so. Django came out in motherfucking December, right? But there's like a lot of controversy over the video, over the, over the movie, about white people saying nigga all the time. All right, first of all, first of all, my, my views on it, I don't have a problem with the movie because the motherfucking shit was set back in like the fucking slavery days. Like, bitch, of course white people were saying nigga. Of course they were. The fuck are you talking about? Like, motherfuckers like Spike Lee's mad. Fuck Spike Lee. I can't even rate that motherfucker. He don't put out no motherfucking movies no more. Or no good ones that... It's like, bitch, you are a director. Put out something that we can fuck with so we can show you some motherfucking... How the fuck did he beat me? So we can show you some love and acknowledge you. But we really can't acknowledge you on this pussy shit. So, I like the movie Django. And of course, white people saying nigga in the shit. Like, would you expect slave masters to be politically correct? Bitch, that's slave masters. Alright, they don't have to be politically correct. Alright, that that is... The excuse to not be politically correct, you are a slave master. That didn't work. <laughs> Drop shot! <laughs> oh, I want some Call of Duty shit. Bitch, drop shot. Who's over here? Oh shit, backfired. But, um, motherfuckers are mad at the people for, for, for the Django shit. I really need to mute this motherfucker. Mm, wrong team. Uh, what is that motherfucker? Fuck, I don't know how to mute. Fuck, whatever. But, like, so if there's any excuse to be fucking not politically correct, it's being a fucking slave master. So anyway, We're taking the lead. Come on, let's go. I am very distracted because motherfuckers are breathing loud as shit in the motherfucking microphone again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so the Django shit, everybody's pissed off about it because, like. Slave masters are saying nigga. Motherfucker, didn't slave masters invent nigga? Shouldn't they be allowed to say, you know how like black people are allowed to say nigga? Slave masters are also allowed to say nigga. Because <laughs> they invented it. So for all the people that's mad about it, it, that shit is fucking stupid. And it's not like it's like in present day where the shit, everybody's all PC and acting like a bitch now. Like you can't say this, you can't say that. Um, I don't see the problem with it. The slave master saying fucking nigga is like, of course they're saying it. 
They're fucking slave masters. So, but everybody's up in arms about the shit. And I thought Django was a very entertaining fucking movie. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And it was one of the best movies I've seen in a fucking... Oh, shit. It was one of the best movies I've seen in a while. So, I was happy to watch the shit. But then I see fucking Cat Williams hating. And Cat Williams don't usually hate. Which is surprising to me. But I, I guess when motherfuckers start to fuck up or fall off. Once again, like, Cat Williams need to put out some jokes. So we can acknowledge that motherfucker. But, I don't know, motherfuckers is hating on the shit, talking about Jamie Foxx is a Sambo and he's selling out and all this other shit. I don't even, that shit is bullshit, like, that movie was a good movie, it had, it was, it was a play on a, sp a old Spaghetti Western character, Django, who was actually originally a white dude, but, um, they changed it around, oh, dude, get out of the way, there's a guy behind me, I'm trying not to get shot. But they changed it around, and it was a good fucking movie, the, I like the, I like the, um, the action, the action was very unrealistic. And fun to watch. Which was a plus for me. And that shit was like, that shit was real fun to watch. The action was just outstanding. Damn. I had no fucking health anyway. But the action in the, in the movie was just real fun to watch. It was a good ass movie. And it really doesn't deserve the hate. Like, you know, I can understand people being mad because, you know, the motherfucker Quentin Tarantino puts nigga in all of his movies. And you really got a, a problem with Quentin Tarantino in that in that vein? Get at Quentin, Quentin Tarantino. Because I hear, I keep hearing everybody like, oh, man, about all these people saying nigga, blah, blah, blah. But I don't see nobody fucking doing shit about it. Like, if you really got a problem with motherfuckers saying nigga, do something. Because if when I have a problem with the shit that people say, if I find it disrespectful, like, and I see shit people say in public and I find it disrespectful, I just handle it. I don't whine about shit. Like... And that's, that's the, the problem. Like, it's like, how the fuck are people supposed to even attempt to respect you when all you're doing is crying about the shit? You feel me? Like, shut the fuck up and either enjoy the movie or go do something about it. God damn it. It's always a motherfucker behind me. So, that, that's just my thoughts on the shit. It was a good-ass movie. And it really doesn't deserve all the hate again. Yeah, you know, motherfuckers say nigga like, but if motherfuckers... Really talking all that shit, how they got a problem with Tarantino, how they got a problem with how he get down. Bitch, do something to him. Like, you know where the motherfucker at. Holler at him. I mean, that's all it really take, right? Get at the motherfucker. If you really got a problem with how he does business, put a fucking shell in him. Because I'm a, I'm a real big advocate of that. If you really got a problem with how motherfuckers is doing shit, put a shell in him. Put a fucking shell in him. Like, stop whining about everything that a motherfucker do and go put a fucking hole in him because it really can't be that big of a deal if you ain't holding a fucking toolie i mean shit if you ain't got a ratchet in your head apparently it ain't that big of a fucking deal and the movie doesn't deserve all the hate but if motherfuckers really got a problem with tarantino just just catch him slipping and break his jaw or something fuck they broke john john Gotti's jaw didn't they we are getting handled in this game. Maybe I need to stop doing this fucking commentary. But that movie was good. If you ain't seen it, go watch it. I seen it. And I watched it again after I seen it. It was a good ass movie. Doesn't deserve all the fucking hate it's getting. Oh, fuck. But it don't deserve all the hate it's getting. It's a good ass fucking movie. I liked it. Maybe you'll like it. And, alright, that's about it. It was some bullshit motherfuckers hating on it. But fuck. It ain't been that many good movies out anyway. I mean, what you gonna watch? Warm Bodies? Like, that's like. It was a good fucking movie. It had some real good action in it. I love the action in it, which is my favorite part about it. Come on, man. I hit that dude up. That was my favorite part about it. The gunfights were off the chain. The motherfuckers crying about the violence. Like, bitch, there's violence in every movie. Shit. I hate, like, movies ain't even no fun without the motherfucking violence in them. What's the point of you losing your fucking V card? Okay, I was completely behind cover, but okay. We're getting wrecked. Oh, come on, dude. I just spawned. Why is there a dude right here to shoot me? But anyway, the, the ban on bitches in combat got repealed. Oh, let me see. Women in combat. So, as a combat veteran myself, I figured I'd weigh in on it. What do I think about women in combat? Actually, I think it's cool. I think it's all right. If they finally want to let girls in combat, cool. Because I remember when I first went in, when I went, like, 
when I went to Iraq and like we went in on that shit, there were girls in my unit who wanted to go, but they couldn't. Like that shit was a fucking no no. Putting girls in direct combat is like usually no no. And actually, they weren't even they didn't even go to most of the training. So like uh, like before I even went to combat, I did a shit ton of training. And the girls didn't go to a lot of it because they really just weren't on the billet for it. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you for that shit. Barely did any damage anyway. Oh, dude, why am I glitching? Do I have server lag? I just might. But, um, yeah, they, they, so they, they raised the joint on women coming in combat. And as far as, I think it's all right. I think that they, they just need to do it. Just put them in. See how it works out and then adjust it from there. Because that's how they put me through in the military. Like, that's how they put me through my paces. All right. But I think.